Okay, guys, I'm in the back garage. I'm mean, check out these cabinets I scored on. They're 30 inches deep, 30 inches tall, and 40 inches wide. Big deep drawers. This is going to be good for a wood shop, woodworking tools, supplies, whatever I want to put in here. That's pretty big. I'm not sure if I should leave it like this, like a rolling countertop, or also like could stack them so I don't know they're kind of big I'm trying to find a space for them inside the garage or inside the shed well here's what two of them look like stacked on top of each other not too bad I figure if I take the wheels off take the wheels off and maybe go three high but wow it's already hard enough to reach back here as it is too high well, okay, I don't have any more room for the cabinets in the garage, and so I guess I'm going to put them in these sheds here. I just finished building the sheds about 14 months ago. If you're interested in seeing me build the sheds, click the little link right here. That'll take you to the beginning of the process of the construction. So yeah, this one over here is like the little office that I don't really use, it's full of crap, but this, this is where I keep all the storage supplies. So I'm going to put the cabinets. Let's take a look. Alright, this is the inside of the shed. This is the space I was thinking about putting the um, cabinets. It's just barely 40 inches wide where this wine barrel is. I'm going to move these two. I have something else here already. Okay, here's one of them. It rolls pretty good on the boot. Check it out from the outside view. And got this medium sized drawer. Turn it down. This the bottom drawer. This bottom one's seven inches deep. So the one bro we took up. And here you can see I got one of it in here. It fits pretty tight. It sticks out here, but this door, this is really just the um, door I use to bring cargo or whatever in. This is the man door, the access door I come through. So it'll be back here. Not too shabby, I don't think. Well, not too bad for extra storage. It's pretty cool, I guess. These things are really old. I'm not sure how old they are. I would guess at least 25 years old. Everything's made out of these just standard screws. Everywhere is a standard screw. Even the screws that I took off the little wheels. But anyways, nonetheless, I have 20 and a half inches clear right here. And the cabinets themselves are 26 inches. So we got 26 inches, that's 28 and a half. So you can see it's barely gonna fit by two inches. Um, this thing's being so big, awkward, and heavy, whatever. They're really hard to move, so I'm gonna have to try to get it here by myself. It's gonna be interesting. You know, I'm just gonna use it for now, and if I ever want to in the future, I could sand this finish down and make it look halfway decent and put a new, some new varnish on it. But for now, it's, it's all right. Yeah, but all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. I still have one more of these big ones, and I have a smaller one to find a home for. I'm thinking about putting a small one here. That's probably what I'll do. Um, we'll see, let's go take a look at those. All right, here's the other one. This is the big one, and this is the small one. But really, I don't even have room for it. You can see this wall's pretty much taken up. Cabinets here, you walk in here, this is all taken up. This I'm working on, this is where I'm going to put my wood tools. You can see in here too is full. Uh, anyways, it'd be nice to have these three of these in a row. Yeah, so let me find a place for these. Alright, alright. I don't really have a choice, I'm just going to put this other one up here. 
There's no room in the garage. And it'll fit perfect, so we're just gonna do it. And I clear this section out for the other cabinet. Okay, I took the drawers out. And check it out how it stretches. This, these little pieces of wood, which is good. I can add locks to the drawer fronts if I want to. It's a little lighter, so I'm gonna wheel it up in here. Flip it on the side, take off the wheels, and then we'll get to trying to lift it up here. Alright, I have it standing on the side. It's got a little bit of separation here. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a screw right here. Alright, I got the wheels off. Now it's time to lift it. Oh, they look a little rough in the video. All this is is just paint. But, I don't know, it'll probably, it'll probably give me motivated just to finish the face. Make it look nice. Okay, I got this other cabinet right here. I'm gonna put this over here anyways, but I'm gonna improvise. This, the big cabinet's gonna go on top of this cabinet, and that'll give me enough lift to get up here. Okay, I'm one step closer. I got this big cabinet here. Let's see if the line of this camera works. This is about five foot off the ground right here. Cabinets. This cabin here weighs probably about a good hundred pounds, just this box. Um, you know, one thing I like about it is solid wood. It's not particle board. That's actually the best part about it. If it was old particle board, I probably wouldn't care, but these things are solid wood. I like it. Alright, let's see if I can get up here without damaging anything. It's a tight fit. I actually did it. It's way up there. Got all three of them in there. Here's what it looks like. And I got this one over here. Okay, now as the sun setting. I'm finally getting all wrapped up. Here, let me show you these ones. This one's 24 inches now, so. And then you can see these 30 inches deep. Both, all four of them are 40 inches wide. And these just are a little bit taller. I wonder if that's a year. Oh yeah, check this out. We have 27 large coffee cans to fit in here. That's a lot of space. That's just one drawer. Yeah, pretty cool for free recycling here. I think they're gonna throw these things away. Where I got them from. They replaced them with brand new. But hey, you know what, for me, a woodworker, this is perfect.